Well, boys, it's time for another BFL. And this time we're heading back to the James River. I say back because I was there seven, eight months ago last October for the uh, BFL Regional and uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I learned a lot last October about tidal water bass and how to fish it. And uh, I just came back from Winya Bay in uh, South Carolina. Fished down there um, as a co-angler in a Bass Nation Open. Did not have the finish I wanted but I still learned a lot about uh, tidal water bass fishing. So it worked out pretty good for me. Um, I'm, they're totally different fisheries, separated by five, six hundred miles. But going to Winya Bay and now traveling up to the James River, um, I believe is going to help me uh, big time. Um, I'm past High Rock. You know, um, I finished second place in High Rock, best BFL finish by far uh, to date. Um, and I took a week, maybe two weeks to really relish in that and uh, look back at everything and I watched a lot of video from on my GoPro, but I've moved on past that. It's kind of like in the NFL, you always hear coaches talk about, especially Bill Belichick, he'll say, you know, we're moved on to such and such, we're, moved, we're on to the Steelers, we're on to whoever it is they're playing the next week. So I'm on to the James River. I've forgotten about High Rock. I've forgotten about what I was throwing. I've wiped the slate clean. I've forgotten everything. It's not on my mind anymore um, because I still have a giant challenge in front of me. And that challenge is getting in the top 45. And um, I'm still behind the eight ball. You know, I'm still in 60 some odd place. I'm 100 points back where I need to be. So if you come up here to James River and you lay an egg, you don't catch a limit, you, you know, come the bottom half of the field, it's going to be really hard going into the two-day super tournament. So I don't want that at all. Uh, so this tournament is very, very important. It's just as important as High Rock was. It's just as important as the two-day super tournament in a couple of months. Um, so I'm going all out for this. I'm taking more prep, more time away from everything else to go to the gyms and prepare. Um, so we're looking at another 30 to 40 hour week on the water. And uh, I think that's incredibly important. I'm going to need as much pre-fishing as I can on the James. And while I was there last year, and I did okay uh, in the regional, did not make the day three cut, but I did okay. Um, this is still going to be a completely new body of water to me. Last year, my I had a plan going in. I was going to fish the back half, of the back third of the chick for five days straight, six days straight, whatever it was. And uh, I did that. I have no experience on the James up near Osborne Landing where we're putting in. And um, so it's kind of like going to a new fishery. Uh, but I am I'm a, I am a river guy. I fish a lot of the rivers here on the east. Um, so I am familiar, familiar with river fishing. Not so much tidal river fishing, but I am familiar uh, with river fishing. Confidence wise, am, am I confident going into this thing? I'm just as confident going into this tournament as I was any other tournament so far this year. Um, I have seen that practice and pre-fishing is incredibly important. So, and, and preparation. I've been preparing for this tournament for several days now. I got still got all my stuff out here. I've been cleaning a few reels, getting rods ready. And um, so this preparation is really important. Um, I wanna make sure that when I get on the water Wednesday, that um, I can focus on just fishing. I can focus on just those bass. And um, you know, the tidal, tidal rivers throw a little, uh, you know, they throw a wrench at you because tidal river bass fishing, they feed in windows. Typically they're gonna feed when that high tide starts falling. And uh, the good thing for this tournament, I've checked the tide charts and on tournament day, the high tide is at 5 a.m. We'll blast off at six. So that means we are going to get a solid, solid amount of tournament day 
uh, when the actual tide is falling. You're gonna have to catch them early. I feel like if you don't have them by 11 or 12, you gonna be in trouble. So my goal going into practice day is I'm going to try to fish those tides. So, you know, I'm gonna go fishing tomorrow night. Uh, high tide tomorrow night. Well, I'm sorry, Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday night, tomorrow night is, uh, what was it? It's five, six o'clock in the afternoon, something like that, so then it'll start falling. So I'm gonna get, you know, I'm gonna go fishing tomorrow night and fish that falling tide during practice. I'm gonna figure out where those bass are gonna be positioned at. I'm gonna be figuring what they're gonna eat and uh, how to catch the biggest ones. I'm not studying catching 12 inch fish. I'm not studying catching 14 inch fish. I'm studying catching five pounders. Um, what's it gonna take to win this tournament? It's gonna take a lot more than 14 inch fish. Um, I need a really solid finish. I need another 16, 18, 20 pound day. Um, and that's that's asking a lot. That's asking a lot for, for a guy who's never caught a 20 pound bag. Um, but I know it can be done. I've looked at tournament results on the James and the Chick and there's some big bass to be caught up there. I've seen a nine pounder weighed in up there last year. I caught uh, two, let's see, I caught six up there last year. That's, no wait, I caught one five in practice last year and I caught two fives during the tournament last year on the Chick. There are some big fish up there and um, you know, it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to keeping things rolling here. I'm still behind the eight ball. And like I've said before, I like it. I like having no place to go but up. And um, I'm still fighting here. I'm still growing as an angler. And this is gonna be another opportunity for me to uh, get to where I wanna get. And uh, that is that top 45. And that is, um, you know, qualifying for Norman and, and, and fishing for a spot, you know, at that All-American. So that's the goal, that's what the plan is, and um, that's it, I'll see ya. Oh my God! Shaka-laka, baby! Give me some of that! Give me some! I thought I was gonna lose that one for you there, buddy. Good God. That's a tank. Woo, baby! Huh?